Hey guys, 23 is number one, back with some more Let's Play Pick Mario the Thousand Year Door! Um, I was so inspired by the Bring It campaign. Um, oh, didn't really mean to go in here, but that works too. That's cool. Um, anyway, so inspired by it that I decided to work on another video tonight, so yay for that. Um, my videos are probably going to be fairly long, um... For the most part, just because that's how I like to game. I like to game in big increments. Um, I can't really stand playing for just like 10 minutes or something. But, uh, unless it's like a handheld. Anyway, now that we're back in town with Bobbery, if you want to really call this town, uh, let's talk to Flavio. He was just, sorry if you could hear that burp there. It was, uh, it was a quiet burp with my mouth closed, but it was a burp nonetheless. Anyway, um,. Flavio's armpit. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, um, we're saying we found a suspicious a suspicious skull rock, which, uh, could match his little red crystal skull gem thing. Indiana Jones crystal skull. Yes. They obviously got the idea from Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Flavio will join us for a short time. So, Flavio will follow us now to, uh, that other place. Uh, you know, where we found Bobbery, where the... Oh, hey! Stuffies. Awesome. Uh, so that's definitely not getting cut up. Where the, uh, skull is that we found. Uh, where Bobbery was. So, uh, we're gonna make our way all the way back there. And you don't really have to worry about Flavio. He just kinda comes with you. He doesn't battle with you or anything, so you... Ah, uh, battle! Anyway, uh, he doesn't battle with you or anything, so you don't get out of here. Uh, so you don't have to keep him alive or anything. Uh, dodge! Oh, oh, dodging, dodging! Ah! Assassin Pro, Assassin Pro, yo UAV can't spot my shit. Um, so you don't have to keep him alive or anything. Got to get out the Yoster. Actually, you can make that jump, but I'll uh, die. Oh, cool. He doesn't seem to see me. And when we're riding Yoshi, he gets on your back. Balls! Uh, dodge. Dodge. Ah, oh, damn, ran into him. I hate piranha plants! Anyway. Um, funny thing is, when you do get on Yoshi, or in our case, Epona. Not sure what that guy's doing, just jumping there. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, Flavio jumps on your back, which is funny. I don't want to fast forward this. What are you doing, game? Come on! Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what I... Oh, come on! Uh, I'm going in front of and behind the block, and you can't tell where you are because of the... And, and I'm not going to complain about depth perception. I'll leave that to NCS, but, uh, <laughs> I think that's in that, yeah, I'm pretty sure. But, um, don't need opponent anymore, so, Bobbery. Um, but yes, uh, I, I forget what I was saying. Like, let's talk about Call of Duty. I don't know. Um, been having a lot of fun with it. Um, yes, I run Assassin Pro, not all the time, but I run Assassin Pro, so don't get butt hurt. Um, just because you can't see me on the radar. Um, it's also freaking fantastic because I'm immune to EMPs and counter UAVs and basically anything in the air. Um, so yes, now that we've made it back here, ah, now what's all this? And he's like, hmm, what should I do, bro? So, school captain casts his gaze, red jewel shines and plays, boom, boss. Oh my goodness! You probably just heard my cell phone go off, and I need to find it so it doesn't go off again. Just a second. Okie dokie, sorry about that, guys. It was my girlfriend, and um, I accidentally skipped through the text. But um, he was singing a song, and I'll need, to, uh, I'll need to get that back up. But basically, you come over here and look at this stone skull, and Bobbery's like, hey... I bet the crystal skull goes in there. And then he's like, what do you want? And I'm like, skull gem, bro. 
But yeah, so we get it, and we go over and put it in here. Da da da. Ah, and that makes those guys' eyes gleam. Meaning we need to do something with them. Well, the answer to that is over here. Me, 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 me. The Stash Brothers' best of friends. Three times Red Stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly four times is whacked. So let's hear those fireworks go boom. So basically that's a clue of what you're supposed to do. Um, basically you spin jump. See, and it does a little shiny shine so you know you're doing the right thing. Uh, three times on the red one. And whack the four, or whack the blue one four times on the face, and boom. Would be the fireworks. Actually, I think it only, like, cracks open the top thing. Yeah. <laughs> Expecting, like, an explosion. It's like, nope, door opened. Pwned. Whoops, I missed. Haha, -ha, so you throw Bobbery in there, and Shabambo, and he teleports back to us. And Flavio's like, such excitement! Oh, and he gets his crystal gem back. Hooray for Flavio. By the way, what the heck is Flavio? He's yellow with a big pointy nose and purple hair. I don't know what the heck he is. But, um... Basically, he went back to camp and we're going inside. Month star, day, circle, music note. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers entered the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Pirate's credit. Um, should we go ahead and save here? Uh, yeah, let's save, but keep going. Ta -ta -ta. Um, so hopefully you can hear the game volume okay. Um, as I mentioned before, that reminds me of... I need to get to the other side of that springboard. Reminds me a lot of uh, Paper Mario 2. Or Paper Mario 1, the second level. <laughs> this is technically a new enemy. It's just a red ember instead of a blue one. I'm not sure what the exact difference is. Uh, maybe they're a little stronger. But, um, anyway. Um, for those of you knowing what I'm talking about with the first Paper Mario, though, and the... Whoa, hey, we're gonna level here. Dun, 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 um, I think we'll actually spend this on FP. Uh, our first point spent on FP. Because <laughs> I do like to use specials, but, um, I can't that often because we don't have much FP. Ooh, almost missed on a shine sprite up there. Could barely see it. Anyway, um... Huh, get over here. There we go, got him. But yeah, um... I wonder if that's, like, even the same sound effect or something. I wouldn't... Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it, uh, was the same sound effect they used from the first game. But yes, um... I just realized I'm talking through this battle. Eh, we'll put it in anyway. Um, is six enough to kill them? Yeah, it is, buddy. Ha ah, ha ha, he got a bucket thrown on him. Ah, ah, that's a different attack. Um, oh yeah, but Bobbery's burned, so he'll take damage every turn from that. And I think his attack might also go down, like, Pokemon style or something. I'm not sure. Man, we're getting good experience in here. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, can we just... Yeah, we can jump over there. Okay, so. Here's this. Um, this is kind of like a... And <laughs> Bobbery will keep getting hit. Pretty funny. This is basically like a pirate's... Oh, really? Really? You're gonna do that to me? I know that I could just use uh, Vivian for this, but still, I don't want it. There we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, phew. Okay, that'll make it. This is basically like a pirate's hidden grotto uh, with a lot of traps um, basically hiding its treasure! Not sure if we've seen bullet bills yet. If I had to guess, I'd say no. Yeah, I killed him. Okay. Um, yeah, bullet bills, if you don't kill them, they'll basically suicide into you and do a ton of damage. So it's a good idea to kill them, and you don't get much experience from them either. 
So, definitely a good idea to kill them. But they'll keep getting shot at you from... Ah, struck first. Um, this will be quick. Um, they'll keep getting shot at you from cannons until you do something about it, so... You'll see them in the audience there, big ba bombs. Um, you don't want them in the audience because they take up, like, two or three seats apiece, I think. I don't know the exact number on it, but... Um, I might look it up and put it on the screen. Um, but yes, so these are the cannons that shoot bullet bills. Um, you can see they have very high defense. Um, I'm only doing one damage with each jump. And I think... We'll see here. No, okay, it doesn't go through defense, but... Um, I thought... Ah, it landed on me. I think that would have electrified me if I wasn't already electrified. But, um... What I was thinking there is Bobbery's uh, explosion might go through defense, but I don't think so. Um, so you'll see, like always, ooh, and he actually hit this time. Uh, Bobbery's explosion gets rid of that mist. Uh, you bastard. Um, he shot two of them up there. Bobbery cannot, uh, with any of his current attacks at least, attack anything up there. Um... I'll show you what Bomb Squad does eventually. Oh, and this would actually be... <laughs> really funny if he missed is what I was going to say. Um, I don't know if you uh, guys caught that, but he missed and the screen like shook a little after a bit, meaning he like eventually crashed into a wall that, uh, that uh, bullet bill. So that was pretty funny. I like that. I don't know if I've seen that before. So... Um, jump on this barrel here. Oh, god! I think we might want to get Yoshi out for this. Bum, 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 bum. Our orange Epona. Uh, uh, why, why didn't you do with the jumping, Epona? Why? Let's try this again. What, what, what? I'm pressing A, but it's not going up. I kind of press A and to the right at the same time, so I understand why it's not, but still. Okay, so that's not how you get over there. Dun 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 dun. Huh. Am I missing something here? Oh, there we go. That got me over here. Ah, uh, but there's one of the big bombs. Okay. Um. Do I want... Bobbery for... No, I don't, but I'll use them anyway. Okay, I'll show you guys the big bombs. Um, if you do not kill them quick, something bad will happen. So, well, and I think if you explode on them with Bobbery, something bad will happen too. So we'll see what happens here. Please don't go boom. Oh yeah, they went boom. Um, basically, um, it'll do damage to you. Um, and the stronger ones are even worse, but, um, if you get, like, four of those exploding on you in one turn, basically it can be really bad and can kill you quickly. Um, it only did two damage a piece, though, so that wasn't that bad, but, uh, trust me when I say those guys can be a problem, especially their, uh, higher leveled, uh, form. Lots of crazy daisies in the audience. But yeah, um... So, hopefully you guys are liking my, um, I don't know if it's really a different style, but how do I, how do I get you? Huh. Wonder if I could kind of cheat my way with coops here? Yeah, I can. Um, that's not the way that you're supposed to get that, I'm absolutely certain. But, um, in case you guys don't know, what I basically did there is I, uh, snuck just off the top edge there with Coops and shot his shell at it. So, um, I feel kind of bad for getting it that way, but, eh, got it that way anyway. Nope. I don't know if you guys have seen the Flying Buzzy Beetle, so I'll go ahead and leave this one in. Um, basically these guys have... Yeah, like, practically impenetrable defenses. Um, so... I'm not sure if they are impenetrable, but they have really high defenses. Um, unless you get them on their back. So they're kind of like... Uh, basically... Better Koopas. Um, if you want to think of them that way. Um, 
Actually, really, they're just Koopas with better defense. Think about it. But once they're on their back, you know, they ain't got nothing against the Balberry with his awesome stash of justice. Look at that thing. It's giant and spiky and amazing. I wish I had a stash like that. Actually, no, I don't. I, I'm, like, having a big mustache. I just got my mustache and beard trimmed, actually, uh, a few days ago. By my awesome friend, who is also a cosmetologist, so she does my hair. Whoa. I will murder you and your family if you come in here. Oh, that would have been bad anyway if I started a battle by exploding on him. Okay. Um. I'll just normal jump on you. Does that kill you? No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, swap partner. No. Eh, just... I just want to take the damage. Blop kaboom Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> it made the... See? If you make one blow up, then they're all going to blow up. And that's how I say you can get into trouble with those guys. Uh, especially the higher leveled ones that will do more damage to you. Um, but I felt lazy and just wanted to get rid of them that way. What is this? A boat platform, but we don't have any boat moves! And believe it or not, you actually can fall into the water that deep, as Bobber just showed. <laughs> I'm glad that he showed you that, otherwise he would have called me a liar. Ooh, and there's a key up there, but how do we get up there? Probably by this platform, which can be pressed with this... Okay, that was entirely my fault. Which can be pressed with this button. Die, Bobbery. Oh, nope, he made it. Oh, that's my bad. Um, we need to... You could probably do that with Bobbery with good timing, but... Um, we're just gonna do it with Coops. Oops. Are we gonna do it with Coops? Yes, we are. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Indiana Jones. But yeah, I, I, just the crystal skull has got me thinking Indiana Jones now. <laughs> kind of looks like a face, don't you think? Anyway. Um, what time are we at? Uh, I think after about an hour of recording we're going to be done, so about ten minutes here. Yeah. Um, but da -dum -dum. It's good, we're by save block too. Oh, I'm tempted to stop now, but I don't want to, because I'm having fun recording. Um, oh god, Buzzy Beetles. Oh god, run. Um, yeah. Oh, duh. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, let's just throw Bobbery at it. He can get it. Nope. There we go. Thank you, Coops. That was fairly easy to get. Once again, I'm not sure if they intended you to get that way. You know, it's possible that they just forgot that we have coops, essentially, uh, for that one. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh! The bottom ones, you cannot roll through. Um, you'll see there are some on the bottom there, but the rest you can just roll under. Um, okay, I don't believe we can get this one yet. So, we'll leave it there for now. And <laughs> Bobbery, oh, I can get it! No, you can't. Uh, you can't break these cuffs, bro. But, um, I like the atmosphere of this place. It's pretty nice. Those flames don't really seem too attracted to me. So let's get Bobbery to blow this up. I assume that's what we have to do. And it is. Um, they're really good at putting enemies that are... Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm done being scared over bullets... Um, I'll go ahead and leave this cannon fight in here, because these are not like sub-bosses, but they're, they're somewhat similar, I guess. Um, <laughs> what I was trying to say before I was brutally assaulted by bullets is that uh, they're really good at putting in enemies that complement your new partner's weaknesses and strengths. Um, and what I mean by that is... They put in enemies that your partner will be bad against, and ones that they'll be good against. Not really too many that, you know, it doesn't really matter what partner you have. Um, 
Examples of this are a lot of your partners can't attack the uh, flame enemies, but Bobbery can, so that would be a strength. Um, uh, and an example of a weakness would be if you attack one of the big bombs with Bobbery, they all explode. So obviously you wouldn't want to use Bobbery against those. So I think they're really good with doing that. Um, go ahead and leave us in there. Uh, they're really good with doing that. Um, you know, it, it basically makes the game flow better, you know? Um, if you use the right... If you use your newest companion at all times, basically, then for the most part, it's pretty, uh, you know, makes the game pretty fluid. Makes it all seem like it's planned out, which it is. So, I guess that would make sense. Um, I forget how much health these guys have. That jump might have been worthless, it was. Um, I can show you guys the bomb squad. Um, basically, what you, oh, I threw that way too short. Um, what you do is you throw out these bombs, and in, like, three turns, they all explode. So. Um. Whoops. <laughs> oh, two damage still killed him. But, um. While that may not seem too useful, it actually really is, in my opinion. Um. Oh, yep, there it goes. See? It blew up those two, uh, bullets. See? Really useful. And then both those did one damage to it. Um, but yeah, I like to use them. Um, there are strategies that I'll show you guys eventually with using them. But frankly, they're really good. And I think... If I remember, when you use his like strongest attack with him, which like blows up the whole screen... Extra coins! Um, it might blow those up too, to do like stack damage, but I forget on that. But, um, I really like the attack. It's a lot of fun to use, too. Not always the most useful, but... Uh, you could see in that situation it was. Uh, we'll go with Vivian. I said I wanted to use Vivian a bit more, since I don't think I've been using her much, so... I struck first. Oh, lord. Lots of them. Um, we're going to... Yeah, that's just Earth Tremor. Earth Tremor is just such a useful... Star power. <laughs> attack. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Such a useful attack. Because um, if you max it out, it'll hit any enemy on the in the entire game, including uh, enemies on this... Whoops. Press it one too many times. Like, uh... Including enemies on the ceiling, if you max out the damage, that is. And, uh, I don't know, it's just really useful. Now, I'm wondering if... Okay, no, burning them does not light their fuse. But, you see, they both lit their fuse now. If, uh, we leave either of them alive, then at the end of the turn they'll explode. Um, and that's, I think, the only attack that they have, lighting their own fuse. So... Um, but yeah, Vivian's really good. You see, she's doing four damage against these things, and... Ooh, we're gonna level up. She's doing four damage against those things, and, uh, on top of that, she burns them, which will do one damage every turn. And I forget if it... Batch power. If it, uh, lowers their attack or not, but... If it does, all the better. If not, then just, you know, study one damage every turn definitely helps. Um, go back to Bobbery. And then badges. Um, what do we want on? Not hammer man, that's for sure. Not fire drive. Hmm. Pretty lucky, maybe. Chill out, definitely useful. Oh, and happy heart partner. That works for me. Ah, jump! See? And you'll see now we have no way back, so... That's kind of foreshadowing for what we'll have to do here. And I like how they did this. It's like a ship crashed in here. And, uh, what was in the ship? But a box. York. Ooh, and I see a badge back there, too. What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already? Now, how did you know I was going to do that? No, seriously. Hang on a sec. Can't you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? And we're like, no, no, just, just curse us. <laughs> I get the picture, okay? 
Oh, funny, funny. <sighs> so that guy appears. Um, power down, defense up. Basically, uh, decrease your damage by one and increase your power by... Or, defense by one. <laughs> um, obviously, the opposite of defense down, power up. Um, so, just for different playstyles. But, um, yeah, you might have noticed we were doing one damage to the cannons with our jump attacks. Well, one and one, so two total, but only one at a time. Um, if we didn't have jump man on... Oh, d not. If we didn't have jump man on, we wouldn't be doing any damage at all, so... Definitely advantages to using Jumpman, um, which obviously, in that case, we'd just be using our hammer, but whatever. Um, and by killing that guy, it drops a key in order to open this chest, which will curse us. Wee hee, fools! Even though we knew it was going to happen, how's that make us a fool? I don't know. Ah, oh, dubs fell right into my absolutely brilliant trap. And now you will suffer! Oh yeah, I'm so evil! Bathe in the foul awful... Wait, what was next? Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever upon your... Upon, er, upon your... For your appalling stupidity! Ah, <laughs> You will rue the day you open this chest of doom! That's right, chest of doom. Be cursed! And then our flashing lights like normal. Anyway... Um, basically, when we step on these boat platforms, we become a paper boat! Imagine that! Ta-ta-ta! Yay, such suffering, we are now a boat. Um, the only thing that ever got me is, um, I was always like, well, how, how is a paper... Yeah, I know, we go back to a... Oh, when we go back to a platform, if we press Y again, we'll... Run that by me again? Yeah, I get it. Terrifying. But, um, well, the only way to stop being a boat is to press Y at a platform. Uh, another boat platform, that is. But, um, one thing that always confused me is you're a boat made of paper and you're in water. Wouldn't you get soggy eventually? But, um, just doing a bit of exploring here for star pieces. Um,. Then I realized... Oh, I thought for sure there'd be one back there. Anyway, but then I realized... Oh wait, the water is also made of paper. Because everything in this game is made of paper, so... Um, you wouldn't get soggy, and that's actually just very skillful water. Made of paper. Imagine that! Um, but yes, so... I think there's a face on the wall there. Right here is where I was saying it. It's like a creeper face. Minecraft going on there. But, uh, I think it's about time to end this video. Ah, oh, these guys are over here now. <laughs> How the hell did I strike first? I'm honestly very confused by that. Let's see what... Yeah, it's just a normal jump strike. Weird. Yeah, you'll see there's only 73 people in the audience because those uh, big ba bombs are taking up so much space. So, they are definitely inconvenient. Um... Yeah, as I was saying earlier, um, Bobbery is a good partner to use against these flame guys, and they're really good at uh, matching partners to the environment that you find them in. Yeah, so I'm having a lot of fun playing this again, and uh, I just need to keep on it. Three months of bring it, baby! Um... I'm going to be doing a lot better around the house and stuff. Um, also, those blue ones do have more health. Oh, blocked it. You ain't got no shit with your will-o'-wisp, bitch. I use protect. Anyway. <laughs> Boop -de -doop -de -doo, -de -de -doo. Lots of coins everywhere in this pirate's grotto. Platforming like a boss. Platforming. I'm not sure how you get that, to be honest. Whoops. Unless you get... I think you might get something here uh, that helps you to get that. In fact, I'm almost certain of it. Yeah, and that's how you were supposed to get the one that I, like, trick got with Coops. And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get this one I got over here with... Whoops. 
Uh, the one I got over here with Coops by riding a wave up and hitting it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to do it. Ah, ah. Look, there's another creeper face on the wall there. Creeper face. Dun, 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 dun. But now we're back by this. Yeah, there's a save point here. Um, but yeah, you would be able to get the one that was here with uh, the new ability that I think you get here. So, um, I am going to use this as an opportunity to save. And uh, hopefully this video made it. Otherwise, I'll be very angry with myself. Um, but thank you guys very much for watching. I will be heading out now. Uh, this has been 23's number one, and I will see you guys next time. Ciao.